the city of Green Valley, we like to consider ourselves the gateway to Kansas City. Green Valley truly has a rural community feel, but it is within the heart of a large metropolitan area. Grand Valley is my home. It's where I've grown up. It's where my kids are growing up. So I think it's a great place. I think everyone who lives here thinks it's a great place. And I would invite anyone who would want to come visit to come visit, and I think you'll love it. Grand Valley has been one of the fastest growing communities in Missouri. We went from a population base of about 4,900 to uh, 13,000 from 2000 to 2010. One of the things that we're focused on right now is that we're trying to make sure we're um, improving our infrastructure to keep up with the growth that we have. I think the city has been very focused the way they should be to see the city grow in a way it, it will benefit it for the future. One of the things that we've been able to do is start an economic development corporation that's very focused on uh, innovation of the businesses, how to help them grow uh, smarter, faster, cleaner. Our city council here in Green Valley is pro-development. They uh, recently appropriated money for our new uh, director of economic development, and he's been very active in recruiting businesses. This one bit large project on the east side of town, he's been a great asset in, in luring those companies into us. The property there is a large track of ground on the northeast side of Green Valley, roughly about 1,500 acres. It's got all its utilities, electrical, water, gas, all the power we need for the project. It'll do nothing but draw more businesses. There'll be the hotels, the fast foods, more residential, and other industrial companies, buildings that companies will come to Green Valley for. Another feature that I think is extremely important about Green Valley is, is the access to Interstate 70. Interstate 70 is the lifeline of freight and traffic in the United States. It goes from coast to coast and it literally runs right through the center of Grain Valley. It's a huge feature for the city. All four corners there of I-70 and 40 Highway are just primed for development. Several years ago we brought in uh, sewers, water, gas, electricity. We invested uh, over 30 million dollars and capital infrastructure around the four corners. The city's been very proactive on all four corners of developing those sites out. From Columbia, Missouri to Manhattan, Kansas, along I-70, that is considered the animal health corridor, where the vast majority of uh, animal health science, research, and development is, is done. And with the historical Snybar farms that we have in the city of Green Valley, we like to think of this as the birthplace of the Animal Health Corridor. William Rockhill Nelson, who founded the Kansas City Star, purchased 1,750 acres of the Snybar Farms in 1912. William Rockhill Nelson started Snybar Farms as kind of an experimental cattle raising. Uh, they were trying to raise better uh, beef at the time, better cattle. The Snybar Farms is one of our greatest assets. Very recently, the city of Grain Valley acquired 50 plus acres for future development, which will continue the history of that great farm to be developed very strategically to benefit all of the citizens of Grain Valley. One of the great things in the city of Grain Valley is that we have the Grain Valley School District, which is one of the fastest growing school districts in the state. We have 4,300 students in our school district this year, and our student population has doubled in the last 12 years. The Washington Post has again recognized Grain Valley High School as one of America's most challenging high schools, placing us in the top 5% of high schools in America. They get that recognition primarily for the performance of our students on national advanced placement exams, for the volume of students that are taking those exams, and for their high performance on those tests. The city of Grain Valley has progressive leadership from the elected officials all the way uh, down to the supervisors that, that make decisions every day for our front, front line employees. Everybody seems to be on the same page. They see the vision of Grain Valley, they see the growth happening, and that's very exciting and it inspires each of our supervisors, our managers, all the, all the way up to myself and, and the elected officials to do the best thing that we can every day.